Okay, really quickly before the clips I've already made, there's a point where I say that that this person is dishonorable for what they're doing, or both these people. Well, if you look at it as an agnostic, according to my belief system, at least, and very it's very likely that I'm correct with the universal arguments being made, that it is dishonorable. However, it's more complicated than that in some ways. So, again, my pur purpose isn't to insult, right? There's a bunch of instruction that's needed. It's like he's attempting to meet the globalists on their level, excuse me, on their level, and to explain to them that what they're doing is wrong, okay? And that they need some mental clarity in a way that's consistent with their agenda and they're not likely to learn from. And I'm attempting to correct everybody and to show them what is the true path to true enlightenment, to true, you know, to truly being right with God. And that I'm the gate and everything outside the divine order, no matter how well they mean, which is a core message of mine, no matter how much, how well you mean, those baby steps are taking you further into the hole that you're digging because you're outside of the divine order. And with and being in the divine order comes with persecution. Okay, I decided to make this just the part three. I remember the change of my voice. So when we look at, again, revisiting this argument, when you think of Shaolin Kung Fu, you think of some of the most humble people on the planet. And I'm like, man, you know, I have to address this and what do I do about this situation? So I'm making my videos, I'm fumed, I'm provoked, put it into context of what's going on here. Not just in the context of my videos, what I've been talking about. I've been talking about maturity and I've been talking about morality for years and years now. Um, you know what, I'm gonna find some, some old videos to show you that they make it so I look bad. You know, I look real bad in these videos. You know, I look like some kind of crazy person almost, you know, but you can tell by my exact look that it's not crazy, it's somebody who's trying to help people and that they're editing my videos and my pictures, right? They're making it so I look like some kind of gay guy who needs psychiatric medication or something, and that's simply not the case, okay? While they're making these same uh, arguments, I graduated from college while they're making these arguments, okay? I've been on dates while they're making these arguments and none of them said that I was mentally ill, Okay, in fact, they said the opposite. One of them said that I'm the most sane person that they've met in their life. Another one said that I'm the best and the smartest person that they met in their lives. I did my top martial arts challenge. I did it clocked in world record speed. Nobody beat me in my challenge. I beat like what, a total of six challengers, four males, uh, two females, something like this. Okay, and the challenge has been going on for years. Bunch of people initially accepted, and you can tell by the way they look and their demonstration they couldn't beat me, and they never showed up. So you could you could count, you could add like another, and I think a good another eight 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 to ten or so or, or or fifteen or whatever it is, people accepted, but they simply never came through, and you could tell that they couldn't beat me. You could tell that nobody could beat me. Okay, so when it came to this, right, to him who much is given, to the one who much is given, much is expected. Okay, spare the rod, spoil the child. Folly is bound up in the heart of the child, but the rod of discipline will drive it away. Okay, better is open rebuke than love that is concealed. Okay, when love comes into contact with rebels who have no intention to obey God through me, they're destroyed, but they're at least given that chance. You know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Don't you see what's going on here, folks? Nobody cares about people doing the right thing more than I do. And that's the only way to care about them. You can't care about them by encouraging them to do the wrong thing. You can't care about them about, by making them feel a little bit better while they do the wrong thing. The only way to achieve true mental clarity, right, is, true, is, is in reality. And morality is more reality. Now, what is the refined, pinpointed, top martial arts morality consist of it consists of a divine order i think i read you know <clears throat> it's been a while when i was reading some stuff about buddhism um they they had some word i forgot what it was it was like the Tao or something where it was talking about a natural order a natural order a natural way of doing things you see paths 
in the forest have been forged by animals. You see paths, you know, in geometric shapes, uh, more or less, that are traveled by birds, the migrations of geese. We see various paths, various ways to do things. In, in Shaolin Kung Fu, they, they study animals historically. They study their animal movements. So they're trying to learn from nature. What is the nature of the top martial artist ever? And did nature not tell me? And those of you who are monotheistic, did God not tell me to teach people, to correct people, to feel righteous indignation and a profound sense of responsibility and duty, a noble sense? So sometimes people have to be corrected publicly, okay? Sometimes that's the only way. Sometimes they'll never even get the video, but it has to be made. Examples have to be made. The animals are examples. Martial artists are examples. Politicians are examples. Characters and stories, okay? Females who reject me, why? Why did they reject me? So they could live the rape by deception spirits, essence, dominant characteristics, prevailing tendencies, dominant principles. Okay? That's why they reject me. What is, what, where, where do their emotions come from? What is the nature of their brain function? How does the white matter and the gray matter factor in the thalamus, the amygdala? How do, how do these things factor in? The frontal lobe. How's neuroplasticity, brain wiring? Weird is the word, weird is the word wired, scrambled. Why is that? And, 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 and wired startles with why? Why red? W-I slash R-E-D. Why red? Wired. Red, the color of set, the principles of evil. The red land. Set associated with the desert. Void of life, void of truth, void of true order. So why would a female want to reject me? An attractive female on the internet who's single, for example? Because she's void of life in her brain, in her soul, in her essence. She's accepted the chaos that comes with the realm of the dead. The body without the spirit of order is the walking dead. And what happens when you let the walking dead lead you? Do you not become the walking dead as well? What happens when you accept the boundaries of the nonsense of social norms and become a social norm fanatic where you're rejecting universal pinpointing moral truths for social norms? Then you're the walking dead, folks. So when this one uh, monk, I believe he is, he's some kind of Shaolin practitioner, he talks about values and passion and heart and courage. He talks about respect. Respect is first and foremost one's actions. Sometimes someone can say you're dishonorable, and that is trying to marshal you in the spirit of, of giving true respect where uh, it, it, it belongs, assigning respect to those who deserve it. Respect is earned. What is your counter argument, I say to the world, to respect is earned, as the world is cheating me out of my right to lead? How can they ask for respect to be reciprocated? As attractive women don't put me first, how can they expect me to respect them? As, as they shun me the best years of my life, I'm now 41 years old. I'm 41 years old. I'm not married. The top martial artist ever, the son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon, have a college degree in California, and I live with my parents because society didn't respect me enough to give me the things I need. Women didn't respect me enough. Some women are billionaires. They didn't respect God and I enough. And so instead of them giving me the things I deserve out of respect, some churches have $30 billion net worth. Instead of them giving me the things I need as the guy in their stories that they're ripping off. They send their attractive women to call me a scrub to turn their backs on me, to damn their offspring to hell 
with the despicable cultivative cycles and reproductive cycles of those whose spirit is in the boundaries of rape by deception. After all the rapes that occur, I want you all to close your eyes and imagine all the women and children that have been raped, all the guys raped in jail. Imagine them screaming, those who have passed away, screaming out for vengeance as they burn in hell. That is your spirit. You rape them, you kill them, you rob them, you poison them, then you send them right to hell. Now who among you thinks you deserve my respect? <laughs>